Yo, what is up, it is your boy Empty, and today, similar to how I did the guide on how to get the secret equipments in Grand Summoners, check it out if you haven't already, I will be showing you where to get the best free-to-play equipments in the game, so let's get started. What you're gonna do in your main screen is go straight to the exploring tab and go straight down to the bottom, down to side quests, and this is where majority of them are. Starting off first at the very bottom, we're gonna go straight to the freedom fighters, and there are two specific ones that you need. And that is Seagull and Akashic Eye. Seagull is a great equip for you to reduce damage by 20% for all allies. And Akashic Eye is able to give your unit 30 arts if they are above 50% HP, which is really good. For the next equip, it'll be the Knights of Blood Chapter 1. And this one has Arc Ignite. Arc Ignite is still, arguably, no, the best free-to-play 4-star equipment that's able to give 10 arts to everybody on the team. I will recommend getting more than one of this. For the next one... In chapter 7 of Knights of Blood, you're going to farm for X-Gate. And you don't need to farm access, but it's a nice nuking item that gives you 100 arts immediately. Definitely recommend these two, but no more than one. And finally, for the Knights of Blood, you're going to go over to the Crimson Queen. And similar to Arc Ignite, you're going to get Majestic Crest. Majestic Crest ends up giving 12 arts instead of 10. But if the user's light, it recovers their HP by 10%, which is pretty good. So you can use it on a Juno or a Miranda, since this goes great on them. This next one can be found in Cross of Blaze Episode 3, and this is a great equipment nuke item to clear mobs right away. I would recommend just farming a few of these, maybe no more than two, but it is really good to have. For this next one is in Cross of Blaze Episode 7, and it is Bet's Fall. This is probably one of the best healing items in the game, and it also gives 20 arts if you put it on the spirit. Highly recommended. I still use it for endgame content, and it's really good. This next equip you're going to find in the Act 4 of the Forbidden Ninja Scroll. It is the one and only Mirage Kimono. This gives BE output to everybody. And if you don't know what BE is, it's basically those yellow little orbs that you get from doing battles. They generate arts. This is really good. And as for the last side quest you want to be farming for, it's going to be Phantom Snipers Episode 1. This has Majesty Toe Boots, and this is perhaps one of the best 5-star support items you can have that's also AoE and can give arts to your entire team as well as do HP recovery amount. Highly recommend you pick this up if you don't have an AoE art gen. Very good, and it's free. It's right in your side quest. Go ahead and farm for it. And of course, the last two I would recommend is go back to the exploring tab on your game and go to the giant boss. Now, one of these two will be up, or hopefully both of them will, but Glowing Sanctuary has two very good equipments you can get, but I highly recommend maxing out Relic Keratos. Keratos is insane. It is an extremely good cleansing item. It's a good healing item. It can cleanse anything that's a status ailment except disease and faint. Highly recommend you get this like at all times. Just make sure you farm this whenever it's out. And the last one you want to farm is in Caverns of the Dark. And everybody knows this one. Relic Lesser Demon Heart. This gives a single target 100 arts. And it has a very, very low cooldown. This item is great if you're starting out. Highly recommend you get it. Extremely good. And there's nothing else I can say about it. Just very good item overall. And yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video. Hey, if you're not subscribed yet already, go ahead and do it. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot of time and it helps me out a whole lot and I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, let me know what you all think. Comment, like, sub. If you feel like I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.